I'm Randy Robinson. This is Live Today TV. I'm here with John Morgan. Or is it John Morgan? Welcome to the set. Thank you. Now, Good to be here, Randy. Let, let's hear some Bush. We gotta, you're, you've been doing President Bush how long now? A decade. Okay. So, since he's been in office. Yeah. No, well, actually, no. I jumped in uh, three years into his first term. Oh, well, that was a little risky because he could have been one and, one and gone. No, I knew he would uh, be reelected. All right. Well, what's it look like when, when you're in Bush mode? Well, uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's a little disarming if I walk up on you in a restaurant <laughs> yeah, and ask you where the ketchup is. <laughs> nice. You, you had a lot of fun doing this. Absolutely. Um, probably been decent business. Is it trailing off now that Obama's second term kind of deal? Well, uh, when uh, the new president took office, I had to learn how to work because the phone stopped ringing. Did it. And uh, I went through a dark night of the soul. <laughs> and uh, I mean, a couple of uh, very divine appointments brought me out of that and said, all right, get your butt to work. And so I had to learn how to market. I had to learn how to actually call people. And now business is bigger than ever. Yeah, as Bush or on, yes, on other things? Well, I start out in a, in, a, in a convention setting or in a church as W, yeah. just because it's so it's much easy. fun. It's a good intro, yeah. yeah. Sure. And then uh, after we've done some songs and played around with folks, um, I step out of character and teach. Nice, nice. Okay, now one thing I want to cover, you, this is the audio, but your book, yeah. My Life as Bush and My Heart for My Life as a Bush. My Life as a Bush, okay. Yes, What's comedic element. Oh, okay. okay. And then My Heart for Imitating Jesus. Um, how big has that second part of the message become to you? imitating Christ? It's half of the message. It's, it's my whole life. I, I am a Christian who is a child of God, who follows the Lord, who happens to imitate George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. And it opens a lot of doors for me. Yeah. And the, the new thing you're talking about is, is, you know, Bush was well known for his war on terror, war on fear. What is that? What is that? It's my attempt to serve people uh, in overcoming the things that keep them glued to their pew, if you will. Uh, I believe God puts mission in each person, but so many people put that mission on the shelf because they just decide there's this paradigm of fear that says, I can't do that. And uh, John 10.10 10 says, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. So I love to go into a church and challenge people to examine what is that full life and what is it that's holding them bound? And so I'm writing a book about my own journey overcoming fear and I had a dozen of them. Uh, biggest was fear of rejection. Um, Where did that Totally come from? ruled my life. Really? All your, your like lifetime kind of Oh yes, yes, yes. I, I, I had cooties as a child and uh, uh, my first eight years of life in grammar school, I was just the total nerd, and every day was ridicule in school. So I learned, uh, I learned how to be cool, but it was just a false front. Yeah. Uh, and fear was my paradigm. You know, I would second guess every conversation. I couldn't go into a room and talk to people without worrying. It was just everything. And that carry on all the way through adulthood. Oh yes, and even into my, my walk with, with Christ. What does that look like? You, Pray and then question your own prayers. Well, I, I had some, uh, I had some life-dominating sin issues, and because of the fear of exposure and the fear of uh, rejection based on that, um, I, I hid in the shadows, even as a Christian. Mm. So and your it, own your own shortcomings caused you to fear, which right. held you back further. Right. You know how the devil will play both sides of the fence. Yeah. He'll tempt you. He'll make you fall, and then he'll condemn you and tell you what a creep you are yeah. for being such a low life. Yeah. And, and you know, of course, the grace of God sets us totally free, including enabling us to live in victory. Uh, I'm, I'm, How did that message get through to you? I'm willing to say, and, and actually happy to say, um, I had a very severe addiction, a sexual addiction, addiction to pornography that God set me free from. And uh, by His grace, from the day, the day before, uh, I met my wife, I was a mess. The day I met her until today, I, I'm able to say by His grace alone that I've been 100% uh, faithful. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I don't Good. presume upon tomorrow. I'm not going to say, make any promises that I'll be perfect, but I will say by God's grace and with his help, you know, I would, I would, rather, I would rather actually m go to my grave than uh, be unfaithful to my wife. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, I have no skeletons in my closet. I have no reason to be afraid of what you think of me, you know? And it's just awesome. And it opens the door for me to look fear dead in the face and say, no, I will obey my Lord. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and now fear is almost like a compass showing me which way to go instead of which way to run. How, what does that mean? Well, a lot of times the very things you get attacked with on fear, oh, this is too big for you, they're actually indicators of perhaps the way you should go. And I look long and hard at the things I'm afraid of to consider of perhaps the very thing I should do. Mm. Mm. How's that worked out for you? Great so far. <laughs> Great. I've got big plans. I'm so excited. Um, you know, not, not everything I can talk about right now because some of it's just not ready for, sure. it's not cooked yet, you know. Sure. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I do believe God has uh, created me to, to believe in a big God that does big things. Did, did the whole bush thing help you kind of hide behind someone else? and yet at the same time come out and overcome some of the fear? In other words, you yeah, hear what no, I'm saying, right? That's a fair question, but uh, no, because um, most of the fear had been worked out okay. by the time that came along. And I think that's one of the reasons why God chose to trust me with it, because I've never confused my own identity with his. Uh, you know, I'm this actor, this musician, sure. you know, I'm a worship leader at my church on, on the play guitar, you know, and, oh, yeah. and, uh, and George W. Bush is such a great man. And, uh, you know, you know I, I try not to get into politics too much. His principle, his faithfulness, his, his uh, stewardship, his, his faith. Um, so I, I, I don't ever blur those lines. Gotcha. I know who he is, I know who I am, and I just have fun, it's like a big practical joke I have all the time, you know. Yeah, no, I, it's great. It's, it's a great gig. And hopefully, I mean, you know, I still see Abraham Lincoln walk in the streets occasionally. So, I mean, maybe you got he a told, long... He told me to spend more time in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, that's good. That's good. Now, if somebody wants to book you, johncmorgan.com. That'll, that'll get you there. You're still doing it. You're still taking Bush bookings, right? Oh, huge. It's getting bigger and bigger all the time. Right, yeah. People, because he's, he's so likable. And so, you know, George W. <laughs> is... Uh, is, is he's out doing uh, speaking engagements as well. And um, it, it's just an honor it's a, to, to replicate somebody that's so healthy and, and uh, wholesome yeah. in, in this country. Yeah. We, we need that. Yeah. And then you're also sharing your own testimony and your own war on fear, which is great. So, right. so people can get a double impact there, so not just fun. For but. a business owner, it's, it's important for them to know that I understand that there are lines and there are, there's an appropriate place to bring your your, your faith and your Christian message. So I've also got a very strong motivational message gotcha. that's not so much gospel, you know, because I want to influence culture right. as well as influencing the church. So I'm, I'm very careful to make sure that I'm serving. Well, you know your audience and you address them in ways they understand. Jesus talked to fishermen about fish, he talked to farmers about plants. And yeah. So you talk to business people about business, but underneath it all, you've got that, that message and that foundation of Christ. You said it better than I can. Uh, I'm, I'll just pay, just pay money right there, right? <laughs> no, it's good. Check it out. Check out his books, uh, the, the one on, about being a Bush, and, uh, and then the war on fear, especially if that's an issue you struggle with. And uh, maybe just go have some fun at johncmorgan.com, see what the president's up to. God bless you. We'll keep, oh, there you go. God we'll bless America. There you go. Can't end any better than that. Thanks for sitting down with us. You're welcome, bro.